The Sun lies at the heart of the solar system, where it is by far the largest object. The Sun was born about 4.6 billion years ago. Many scientists think the Sun and the rest of the solar system form from a giant rotating cloud of gas and dust known as the Solar Nebula. As the nebula collapsed because of its gravity, it spun faster and flattened into a disk. Most of the material was pulled toward the center to form the Sun. The Sun has enough nuclear fuel to stay much as it is now for another 5 billion years. After that, it'll swell to become a red giant. Eventually, it'll shed its outer layers, and the remaining core will collapse to become a white dwarf. Slowly, the white dwarf will fade and will enter its final phase as a dim, cool, theoretical object, sometimes known as a black dwarf. The surface of the Sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit hot, while temperatures in the core reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, driven by nuclear reactions. One would need to explode 100 billion tons of dynamite every second to match the energy produced by the Sun, according to NASA. Compared to Earth, the Sun is enormous. It holds 99.8% of the solar system's mass and is roughly 109 times the diameter of Earth. So how many Earths can fit in the Sun? The answer is that it would take 1.3 million Earths to fill up the Sun. That's a lot of Earths. Of course, the Sun is a fairly average-sized star. There are some enormous stars out there. For example, the red giant Betelgeuse has a radius of 936 times the radius of the Sun. That gives it hundreds of millions of times more volume than the Sun. The Sun is one of more than 100 billion stars in the Milky Way. It orbits some 25,000 light years from the galactic core, completing a revolution once every 250 million years or so. The Sun is relatively young, part of a generation of stars known as Population 1, which are relatively rich in elements heavier than helium. An older generation of stars is called Population 2, and an earlier generation of Population 3 may have existed, although no members of this generation are known yet. Just like most other stars, the Sun is made up mostly of hydrogen, followed by helium. Nearly all the remaining matter consists of seven other elements – oxygen, carbon, neon, nitrogen, magnesium, iron, and silicon. Without the sun's intense energy, there would be no life on Earth. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos. Let us know in the comment box below if you have any suggestions for our future videos.